So we are going to continue the lesson by solving the above question. The diagram above shows a right pyramid with a rectangular base W, X, Y, Z and vertex O. If the magnitude of W, X is equal to 8 centimeters and the magnitude of Z, W is equal to 6 centimeters and the magnitude of O, X is equal to 13 centimeters, calculate the A, height of the pyramid, B, value of angle O, X, Z, Correct to the nearest degree, and then see volume of the pyramid. So, for us, if this is our diagram, we are told that WXYZ is a rectangular pyramid. So, we have this as a six, we have six centimeters and we have eight centimeters. So, if we want to find the area, we know the Volume of a pyramid is equal to one third the area of base times the height, but we don't know the height. So first, we have to start by finding the height. So if we should draw a diagonal, okay, through zx like this, a diagonal through zx, we can be able to use Pythagoras theorem. We know one characteristic about a rectangle is for any rectangle, the angles in here are all what 90 degrees. Okay, they are right angles. So if we should be able to get this angle, okay, this length. Okay, we know this is six, this is eight. So the hypotenuse is zx. We can say that zx squared is equal to zw squared plus wx squared. So zx squared will be equal to zw squared will give us 6 squared plus wx squared is 8 squared. So zx squared will be equal to 6, 6 is 36, 8, 8 is 64. So zx all squared will be equal to, this will give us 100. Okay, so zx will be equal to the square root of 100 where the magnitude of zx will be equal to what? Um, 10 centimeters. Now, if zx is equal to 10 centimeters, okay, it means that xm, okay, will be half of what? zx. So, x, if we want to find xm, okay, which is be the midpoint, the length of this midpoint, okay, of, of xm and zm. So, um, xm, the magnitude of xm will be equal to half of zx, the magnitude of zx. This should be half times 10. Which will be equal to what? So the magnitude of um, xm, xm will be equal to 5 centimeters, okay? Which is half of 10. So it means that from this point to this point is 5 centimeters, and then from this point to this point is also 5 centimeters, okay? Now if you want to find the height, okay? If you want to find the height, how to get the height of the pyramid, we can say since OM is the height, I can draw a line here to meet this diagonal and we also know that this is also five centimeters so meeting this we have this as 90 degrees so when we consider triangle in in triangle when we consider the triangle o m y triangle o m y okay in triangle o m y we have a right angle triangle of this nature okay we have this as five centimeters and then we have our OM here, we have OMY. And we know OY is also 13 centimeters, which is equal to OX. So we have this as 13 centimeters. So um, we can find OM, which is the height. Okay, so finding OM, we can say OM squared. Okay, OM squared by Pythagoras theorem plus MY squared. O M squared plus M Y squared is equal to O Y squared, the hypotenuse. Okay, so we have O M squared plus M Y squared is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So solving, we shall have O M squared is equal to M Y. It's five, so we have five squared. O M squared plus five squared is equal to O Y, which is thirteen squared. So this will give us O M squared 
is equal to 13 squared minus 5 squared. So OM squared will be equal to 169 minus 25. Where our OM will be equal to the square root of 169 minus 25 will give us. So we have 144. So our OM, which is the magnitude of OM, which is the height, will be equal to 12 centimeters. So this will be the height of the pyramid. So therefore, the height of pyramid of the pyramid will be equal to 12 centimeters. So this will be the height of the pyramid. So the next thing we are asked to find was the second part. We are asked to find the angle O X Z. So we can find O X Z. This angle, okay? O X Z, which is this angle. Which is this angle? O exit. So on my side, we have this angle here. O, O, X, Z. Like this. This is O exit. Okay? So if this is angle O exit, it means this is my 90 degrees. Okay? So this is the angle I'm finding. O exit. So looking at this, if I have this as a right angle triangle, where I have my O, X, Z. Let's put in some figures. So I can find O, M, Z. O, M, X. Okay, let me use O, M, X to solve for the angle X. O, M, X. I'm going to use O, M, X. Okay, O, M, X to solve it. O, M, X. So you see O, M, X. I have my angle here, which is this angle I'm going to find. And then my O, M. My O, M is my height, which is 12 centimeters. And then my OX was given as OX was given as 13 centimeters. So using opposite over hypotenuse, I can say sine theta. So with respect to the angle theta, this is opposite, and this is the hypotenuse. So sine theta, sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is 12 over 13. So getting the angle theta will be equal to the sine inverse of 12 over 13. So theta will be equal to the sine inverse of 12 over 13. So you press shift and sign on your calculator, you get a sine inverse, then divide 12 divided by 13. This is going to give us the angle that will be equal to 67 degrees. Okay? So when we ask to find the nearest degree. To the nearest degree, yes. So theta will be equal to 67 degrees. So therefore, angle O exit. O exit is equal to 67 degrees. Then the last part says we should find what? What I see today? What I saw be correct here? Pa pa pa. Pa, it be correct. Make it go. We are asked to find the volume of the pyramid. Okay? So finding the volume of pyramid, volume of pyramid, pyramid, we are saying it is one third. The area of the base and the area of the base is what? We have the area of a rectangle which is 6 times 8 times then the height of the pyramid is given to us as 12 centimeters. We found it to be 12, so times 12. So 3 will go here 1, 3 will go here 4, 4, 8, 32. 32 times 6 will give us 2. So we have 192 centimeters cubed. So this is the volume of the pyramid. So with this, I want to encourage you to go ahead, solve some more questions under uh, pyramid which have um, triangular base, um, a square base, um, and so on and so forth. Okay.